mark this year at the fair, we can notice that, that, that there's a lot more black artists, a lot more black artists. So why is that? Well, I think there are several factors. First of all, there are many more black American artists, but there are also many more African artists present in the fair. And part of that has to do with a general attention to African art that started before the pandemic. But a lot of that has to do with the fact that in America, especially, the pandemic period was one in which people started looking in a very critical way at how racial issues were affecting cultural life. And that included us at Art Basel. And part of the reason that we always had an issue with this was that very few black Americans have the kind of access to capital and socioeconomic status to start galleries. But in the cases where people had taken that courageous step of not just working for a gallery, but also starting a gallery, we wanted to give them the possibility to join our network as quickly as possible. And so we adjusted the rules, not just for them, but for all galleries, so that a gallery that doesn't have a space but is active representing its program or a gallery which opened quite recently could apply. And at least two galleries, which wouldn't have been eligible, are present, and I think have done a great job at the fair. But, uh, so you said the, the, the fair is less white now? Yes. Yeah, I mean, the, the art world has traditionally been a very white and wealthy place. And that's the nature of the market to some extent, but society is changing. And I think the art world has to be at least at the same level as where society is changing, if not ahead of it. So is it specific to Miami or shall we see the same thing, for example, in Basel? I think we already started seeing it in Basel. I think in general, we don't think in region so much in the art world. I think artists who are interesting, um, I mean, look at someone like Amako Bofal, right? He's he's an African artist living in Vienna, became famous in part because he did a residency in Miami, is now collected by galleries all over the world, you know, has a gallerist from Africa who started in Seattle, moved to Chicago. So it's really not about regions. Being in Paris now. Yes, Marianne Ibram is now in Paris. I just saw her gallery when it opened a few weeks ago during the week of FIAC. Okay. Bon, merci, monsieur. Merci, madame.